Hey guys, I'm Richard Butler from Internet Business Demystified, the only place and the only channel that you will find real authentic interviews. So today we are talking about Subhub. Now, what is Subhub? Well, Subhub is a membership portal that you can brand as your own to have a membership site. Now, I know what you're thinking. I can do this on WordPress. I have a wish list. I have whatever it is. There's so many membership programs out there and I have probably used a lot of them. And you know what? I probably have bought a lot of them, I should say, and many of them I have not used. Why? Because while they may be very, very good and very advanced, they take time to set up. And if I'm honest, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to things like that. So when I saw Subhub, I thought, okay, this could be something that could be very interesting. And I've been testing it out. And I have to say, I really like it because when you create a membership site, what do you want? Well, you want something easy to use. You don't want to be bogged down with technical stuff. You want to get up and running as quick as you can. And I think Subhub ticks all of those boxes. So let's just go over here to Subhub and let's see what's going on. So this is the main page here and it says, log into your Subhub website. So let's actually just do that now. Okay, so here I am over at Subhub. Now, here's the first interesting thing to see that you actually see it is branded with my domain. So that was super simple to set up. Two little changes I had to make and I was able to brand it with my actual domain name. So you don't even see that it's Subhub here. So if I log in, what we will see is, we will see this is the control panel here. The first thing I see here is the dashboard with any new information, which there's nothing and there's no new members because I haven't actually set this up first. But let's talk about the home page editor. So you can actually edit the home page. Now, this is one of the things that can always cause problems with WordPress based plugins that configuring everything to look the same can be a little bit difficult and can be honestly, I have found it to be a pain in the ass. Okay. I'm going to be completely honest here. Whereas here, what I do is I just go to sections and I say uh, banner, which is this part here. And then I can just click on the edit button and I can do any edits that I want here. So I can have an image, I can have a video if I wanted, or I could just have a background color. And it is very easy to make all of the changes there. I can change the title. I can change the attitude here. Uh, is your attitude holding you back? So then I just go back. And once I've saved that, I go back. And if I go into the feature block here, I can go in and I can make any changes. So I have two columns here. When I click on this, I see this is for the actual image. I can make any changes that I want to that. And if I go back, I can go to column two and then I can change any of the text here that I want. So I can just put in an extra uh, return there, etc., and it updates in real time. So this is really good. I can save it here and that will save it. And then I just click on back and I go back and back and I can move these items around just by clicking and dragging like that. So this is showcase your content, which is content that you can have showcased. Then I have my footer here. If I go down here, I can actually just edit the footer and I can make any changes that I want here. So it's pretty powerful. Now I can, uh, if I wanted to change layouts, I could go in and I could actually change the layout of this particular uh, page here. So first of all, it's very easy to actually create your homepage and you can really do anything that you want here because you could, you, you know, I can put in extra blocks, I can change things here, etc. Now, if I go back and I go back to sections, I can change my general settings, my font, my spacing and um, integrations. If I had MailChimp, I could integrate it in there. If I go into menus, I can decide what I want on the top menu and what I want on the bottom menu. And I just have these two items here, store and contact. And then side navigation, if I want to have side navigation, but I have disabled that. Now I just click on publish here and then I will actually see the results of that particular, uh, of those particular changes. So if I went in here, and I go change how you think, the site will come up for me like that. I find it's actually super quick as well, which is great. You are actually getting CDN support as well here. So I find it very quick. Let me exit out of that. Now we have articles then that you can create. So for example, I created this article here. And if I just go into edit it, I can actually make any changes that I wish to the content here. Okay. And I have full functionality here of uh, bold edit. 
etc. Putting in pictures, the publication time, who published it, tags. A PDF option is that I can actually have a little button on the page that says download as PDF, which can be very handy for people as well if they want to read offline. Um, display options here, I can hide different things. I can put it into different categories. So I might call this a blog instead of articles. And then what I can actually do is I can preview this or I can publish it. So let me just publish it there. And I can also actually say, let me just show you this. If I go into edit, I can say it's viewable by everyone or members only. And if I say members only, I can say it's specific membership groups. So this is where you're going to build all of your content by putting it in as member only content. Now, if I go to categories, I can put in help guides, blogs, articles. I can um, have different categories for my actual content. In file downloads, what I can actually do is I can uh, go in here to this example MP3. And again, I can say restrict access to pro members only. So only pro members will be able to access that. Um, so that is the basis of creating your content. So let's say I wanted to create a new piece of content. I could add the article title, members only. Okay, and I could put in the body. This is for members only. And then for example, I could say, uh, well, what I want to do here is I want to insert a video and I would click here and I would put in the source here or I could actually upload it. And then what I would do is I would say, what is this category? So I might say, well, it's going to be uh, members only content. And then I can also put who will actually see that. Now, let me just say that as draft. And I can say visible by, and I can say members only, and I would assign it to a members group here. Okay, really, really handy. So another value add here is that you can actually have courses. So if I just click on the plus here, I go into course plan, I will see the courses here, and it says that this one will have a frequency of monthly, it's actually free, and I can actually say um, what groups can actually access this. So I can say uh, existing members, and only premium members. I save that and then I go back and I can start creating lessons here. So I would go in and I would say add new course lesson. I will put in the lesson title, lesson one, whatever it may be. And then I would put in the body here and I can put in all my meta titles, etc. I can add in videos as I mentioned here. I can add my lessons, change my lessons, put it into the course, etc. Now, here comes interesting things, subscription plans. I can set up the different subscription plans that I have for people. So I have an annual, I have a monthly, and I have a monthly premium. All I need to do is go into edit, and then I would put in the plan title, I would put in the payment, the price, if it's a recurring payment, if I want a promo code, and if it is enabled there, and that is that. Then, of course, what I want to do is well, how do I generate income? Well, I can put in coupon codes, redemption codes. I can have a, a store as well, so I can actually sell products. I have my members list, and I also have a forum that I can actually invite people to as part of my course here. If we go back, there's even more to, to show you here. If I go back here, I can then run reports. I can set up the automated emails, so this is uh, the emails when somebody joins the site, etc. your standard emails here. I can then go to my settings and I have my metadata, I have my display options, I have my fine print, which is my user agreement. I have messages in case somebody, for example, uh, tries to get into content that's not theirs. I can set up the subscription page. I can set up the payment processors using PayPal or Stripe. And there's so much more that I can do there. Now, under domain, this is how I actually did it. You can actually just put in your domain here and you have to make a couple of changes on your hosting side or on your domain register side and that's it. And then I have language settings as well. So I can actually change what particular words are. So instead of apply, I can, I can say aplicar if I'm in, in Spain, etc. So that's a very quick overview of Subhub. Now, I found it extremely quick to use. Um, once I had started to uh, work with it, it became very, very easy. Uh, like anything, if you go away from it and then come back, you have to try and think of how do I actually create this site uh, again. There is an immense amount of 
um, help available as well. But it's pretty easy to use, to be honest. Now, why do I like it? Well, it's not relying on WordPress. It's not relying on my hosting. Uh, the support is really, really good. And I can just go into one site and I can make all the changes that I need. I don't have to worry about all those headaches of WordPress because when Wishlist was on AppSumo, I actually bought 10 licenses, I think. And if I can tell you something, I never actually completed um, and set up one of my memberships using Wishlist because it was it was a little bit complicated. I know I'm quite techy, but there was just so many things you had to remember and so many different settings, whereas this is a lot easier to use. So in my opinion, guys, if you want to build a membership site this year, which you should be doing to get recurring income, Subhub is definitely the way to go because it has a membership site, it has lessons, course lessons, and it has a shop facility as well. Now, as usual, there is a link in the description. Um, I would appreciate if you support me by using my link. And of course, if you have any questions, do let me know. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to like the video. And as I said, ask any questions. And I'll talk to you in the next video.